Hello guys, welcome back. In today's tutorial, we are gonna go over how you guys go about adding floors within your model. So the first thing you guys wanna do is you want to be in your level floor plan or the floor plan where you guys want to add your um, flooring to. So I'm gonna be in my level one flooring. If you guys need to change that view, then you guys can go to your project browser, go under floor plans and just click on whichever um, floor you guys wanna add your floors to. All right, so once I am on the plan that I wanna add my floors, I wanna go up to my architecture tab. I wanna go over to floor and I want to click once. Once I click once, it will bring me into that tool. It will also change my menu at the top. And it also gives us our red X and green check mark, which means that we have to click one of these modes to come completely out of the floor tool and to accept the changes that we have created. So to get going, before you guys um, come over to draft your floor itself, you guys want to come over to your properties bar. And you guys want to specify what type of floor you guys want to create. So to do that, you guys want to click on the fly out here at the top. And um, depending on the Revit that you guys are working in, it will give you guys a few different options that you guys can choose from. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave it at, um, actually, let's go ahead and change it. I'm going to go ahead and change mine to wood joist 10 inches ceramic tile. Once I have that selected, I'm going to come down and just make sure that my level that I want to create that floor in is selected so again just a good tip is you guys just want that to match so if i'm doing level one i also want it to read level one here um, under my constraints um, you guys also have the option to um, have a height offset which means that that floor will rise a certain amount of height off of the base so um, if you guys have a function for that um, depending on your project then you guys do have that option to use it and this is where you guys would type that um, dimension in here um, you guys also want to um, select room bounding. Um, nine times out of ten, this will already be selected for you. And all this is is just um, if you guys are looking to have Revit calculate volume, area of your spaces, um, Revit is just using this as a model element to be able to create that calculation um, along with all of the other you know elements that you have within your project. So um, you guys can go ahead and keep this checked so once you guys have um, selected all of these um, elements here you guys want to come up to your menu um, you want to make sure that you have boundary line selected it should be highlighted blue and then you guys want to select how you want to draw your floor itself. Um, so I'm just going to select um, just the basic line because I want to make sure that I create my floor so that it um, is surrounding inside of this room in its entirety. And so the line tool is best for me to do this. But again, depending on the project that you guys are working on, if you guys are doing... Um, some type of creative floor let's just say you guys have a different type of floor that's a i don't know a circular um shape than the rest of your floor then you guys may want to start off with your circular item create that and then come back in and create the rest of the floor so it really just depends on what you guys are working on so i'm just going to go ahead and just select my normal line tool for now I'm going to go to the room where I want to create that floor, and I'm just going to begin to um, draw that floor in. Again, allow Revit to use the snap tool to snap on those points. So um, I see that it's snapped to my end point. I'm going to click once to start to draw that. And I'm just going to move and continue to select all the corners in the room.
and I'm going to go ahead and close that shape out. And again, anytime you guys are doing something um, where you have to create something like a floor or a ceiling, you're always going to have to have a closed loop. So um, you want to make sure that any shape that you guys create that is closed, you guys can't have um, just random lines out in your space when you guys are creating an element um, such as this. And so in um, all of the time, I was going to say most of the time, but all of the time, if you guys try to um, come out of your draw mode and you have and you accidentally still have some type of line out here in your space that you may have forgot, Revit will not allow you guys to come out of this tool until you guys um, either discard all of your um, changes that you've made in your model space or you guys go back and delete the random lines out and have that actual closed loop. So once you guys are happy with what that floor looks like, you guys want to go ahead and hit that green check mark to come out of this. And once you guys come out of that, um, nine times out of 10, that floor will still be highlighted. That floor is in there. And depending on what graphics have been applied to it, sometimes you guys have a pattern that appears. And sometimes if you guys have not assigned a pattern um, to your uh, material for this floor, then it won't show up. But that flooring is there. So once I come out of that, um, that floor is created. I'm going to go to a 3D view to see that floor so you guys are able to see it in there. Let's just move up here. And I'm going to hide my ceiling here. And so if we're able to see here, we can see that that floor has been applied here within that room that we were in. And so remember we selected that ceramic tile. So that is the pattern that you guys will see in the realistic view here. And I'm just gonna go back to my um, level one really quick and um, just show you guys really quick how to add a pattern if you did want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that floor. I'm gonna go over to edit type and select that one time. I'm going to come into my type properties box and I'm going to hit edit under structure. I'm going to go to that material. This is the material that's currently being shown. I'm going to click in that box and click on those three dots that will bring up the material editor. That material is already selected here. So I'm just going to go to my graphics tab. So right now it's in appearance. I'm going to go to graphics. I'm going to go to surface pattern and I'm going to go to foreground and I'm just going to click in the box where it says pattern and none. And once I click in that box, let's just say I do this cross hatch. I'm just going to click once on that pattern, hit OK. Um, once I have that in there, I'm going to hit OK to come out of this. OK again and okay one more time to come out of that and once you come out you guys are able to see that pattern applied to that flooring now this graphic will not be in a rendered shot that you guys do or a 3d view but it's just very helpful um in just kind of making sure that your flooring has been um, place. So um, if you guys like to see that graphic or if you guys are doing some type of finished floor plan, then you guys will want to apply that graphic to your floor so you guys are able to see it. So that is the basics of how you guys go about adding your floor um, within Revit. Just a basic one. Um, the possibility are, are endless depending on your project. Um, but that is the basis of how you get a um, floor in there. Um, if you guys found the, um, this video helpful, please feel free to like and subscribe down below. And um, also feel free to leave me a comment on videos that you guys find helpful um, or videos that you guys would like to see from the channel. And thank you guys for joining me today.